is the bar to raise me. I'm a staff RN in the emergency room at the Brooklyn Hospital Center. And today I have a PowerPoint to present about stress management. What is stress? Stress is a feeling of emotional or physical tension. It can come from any event or thought that makes you feel frustrated, angry, or nervous. Stress is your body's reaction to a challenge or demand. In short bursts, stress can be positive, such as when it helps you avoid danger or meet a deadline. There are two main types of stress, acute and chronic. Acute stress is stress that goes away quickly, such as when you have to break suddenly. Chronic stress is stress that lasts for weeks or months, such as financially uncertainties or trouble at work. You can experience stress from your environment, your body, and your thoughts. It is important to remember that anxiety often experienced as a result of stress is a normal reaction to an abnormal situation. Stress in your body. Your body reacts to stress by releasing hormones. These hormones heighten awareness, cause your muscles to tense and increase your pulse. In the short term, these reactions are good because they can help you handle the situation causing stress. This is your body's way of protecting itself. When you have chronic stress, your body remains in a state of heightened awareness, even when there is no active threat. Over time, this can contribute to health illness, health issues, such as high blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes, depression, digestive issues, skin problems, such as eczema or acne. Identifying stress. Identifying the causes of stress in your life is the first step in effective stress management. After you've figured out what your stressors are, you can take steps to reduce or avoid them. What is the most common cause of stress? You guessed it, money. According to the American Psychological Association, APA, money is the leading cause of stress in the United States. In a 2015 survey, the APA reported that 72% of Americans stressed about money at least some of the times during the previous month. The majority of study participants reported money being a significant source of stress with 77% feeling considerably anxiety about finances. And these are just a list of resources that you can find. These resources can help you relieve some financial and personal stressors, especially during this time. So below you'll see all the links. We have SNAP, which can provide a monthly supplement for purchasing nutritious food. If you qualify, you'll be provided with a debit card to use for groceries. They can help with cash, rental, and even burial assistance. WIC, Women, Infants, and Children is a healthcare intervention program that provides nutrition, education, and professionally prescribed food packages to eligible individuals. WIC creates a productive interplay between our healthcare center and the food consumption patterns of mothers and young children with inadequate diets. The Brooklyn Family Justice Center, BFJC, provides one-stop shopping for domestic violence survivors by placing lawyers, police, dedicated domestic violence, prosecutors, counselors, clergy, and other service provided under one roof. They can even help with emergency house placement. Managing stress. Learning how to manage your stress takes practice, but you can and need to do it. Here are 10 ways to help you make it easier. Exercising. Working out regularly is one of the best ways to relax your body and mind and help improve your mood. Relax your muscles. Stretching, massage, or a hot bath or shower and a good night's sleep can help loosen your muscles and refresh your body. Number three, deep breathing. Stopping and taking a breath can help take the pressure off you right away. You'll be surprised how much better you feel once you get good at it. Four, eating well. Eating a regular, well-balanced diet will help you feel better in general. Your meal should be full of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, and lean protein for energy. Five, slow down. Evaluate your life and find small ways to, make, to take the pressure off. 
Setting your watch 10 minutes ahead can help make it so that you're not always running. Six, take a break. You need to schedule some quiet time to relax your mind daily. Making time to change like meditation, yoga, tai chi, prayer, or even just listening to your favorite music a few minutes a day will make a difference with how you cope. We're always going to have stress, but it doesn't have to control you. Seven, make time for hobbies. Try to do something every day that makes you feel good and it will help alleviate stress. Reading, knitting, working on a project, or anything that is meaningful to you can give you peace. Eight, talk about your problems. Talking about things that bother you or worry you can help lower stress and anxiety. Engaging in a trusted friend, clergy, or therapist can sometimes identify a path or solution to your problem. Never underestimate the power of self-talk. You can will yourself to a better you. Go easy on yourself. Accept that you can't do things perfectly no matter how hard you try. You can't control everything in your life. Try not to overthink, keep up a sense of humor, and laugh often. Laughter goes a long way towards making you feel relaxed. And let's eliminate the bad. Identify the things that cause you stress and eliminate or at least reduce their influence in your life. Things like watching the news, social media, friends, and even family members can bring about feelings of overwhelming stress. It's not selfish to want to be free of unnecessary drama in your life. Give yourself permission to step away from situations that don't contribute to a better you or otherwise harm you. To love doesn't require you give of yourself of all the time. It's important you set boundaries that protect your mental health and physical well-being. Those of you who love you will want that for you too. Doing what matters in time of stress. Below is a link for a stress management guide from the World Health Organization. The guide aims to equip people with practical skills to help cope with stress. A few minutes each day are enough to practice the self-help techniques. Below you can find the link. And remember, you're not alone. On March 26, 2020, New York State established a hotline of healthcare professionals specially trained to provide crisis counseling for those coping with loss, stress reactions, and anxiety related to the challenges associated with our current health crisis. The number is 1-844-863-9314. No one should feel alone in this. At the Brooklyn Hospital Center, we remain dedicated to keeping Brooklyn healthy and implore you to seek help if you need to. Our emergency department is 24 hours a day, seven days a week to help meet all your healthcare needs and provide you with resources, referrals in a safe environment. And remember, we're COVID-19 safe. Our hospital and staff work diligently to keep everyone COVID-19 safe by ensuring all hospital services, including chairs, beds, and stretchers are clean after each patient. We have increased our hand sanitizing stations by more than double and utilize hand hygiene ambassadors to ensure we are all safe. Below, you can find a YouTube video this concludes the end of our PowerPoint. I just want to reiterate, please, please reach out if you need any help. We have the emergency room open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Plus we have resources such as the hotline and websites. And I just want to remind you, wash your hands, wear a mask, and stay safe. Take care.